Hey, nerdlings! Stop, nerdlings! Do you nerd for surprises? Hey, what's that? Let's take a look! It's time for a closer upper. Recently, somebody in this house happened to uh, have a birthday, and somebody surprised me with something special that kind of ties into this guy right here. So this is our buddy, Russ Sliman. We got this in a recent video from JP Switch Mania, and I was super excited because this is actually the slime controller for the Switch, and Hori had put out a couple of controllers years ago for the PS2. I thought were kind of gone out of my reach. Now, I really love this. I love the size of him and everything, and everything in that video tells you about that. But something that was kind of in the back of my mind was the fact that for the PS2, there was an extra special version of the slime controller. Why was that so extra special? Because it's the almost impossible to kill, always run away, always avoided all of your attacks, never giving you all the extra experience points, metal slime. To be honest, I had written this guy off as a, uh, okay, that's more of a pipe dream thing. Yeah, she listened and she surprised me on my birthday with this guy. As you can see, he comes with a similar base that he rests in. The base is a lot larger than uh, what is, Russ Sliman has. I think it's kind of funny because Russ Sliman is bigger, but his base is smaller. Yes. And he's smaller, but his base is bigger. Uh, Someone's compensating. I think <laughs> I think Russ Sliman was supposed to be more of a king slime. And I don't know, maybe, maybe his base was that big, but he just kind of smushed it down. Something else I like about his base is not only does he have a cutout for the two buttons, but you can also store him upside down in there so that you don't break his little point, which the other one doesn't do that. Of course, in either case, you still want to be careful that when you're using the controller, you don't get mad and you're just like, rah, until oh, your leg. Because then you got a hole in your leg. <laughs> Plus... He looks very whimsical when he's upside down. Now the controller layout itself is very reminiscent of the PS2 controller. It has the dual analog sticks and they have a nice satisfying clickiness to them. Of course the directional pad and your face buttons, your start selected analog and your shoulder buttons. These are a little more different because they're a little farther out from each other. They're not right on top of one another like a PS2 controller. But, at least for me, again, the shape of the controller is not uncomfortable. And where my hands rest because of the slime shape, those work really well. It's just unfortunately he's just a little smaller. The rest slime is a little bit more comfortable to hang on to simply because he's a little bigger for man hands that's right this one is a like a smooth shiny plastic surface yes whereas the other one is kind of a more like somewhat textured a little bit kind of a matte finish mm -hmm. almost yeah the other thing is is he's just stickers for his mouth and eyes whereas the other one are actually inserts rubberized eyes on yep. those so clearly they took some design elements from this and improved it with the newer mm -hmm. controller now my mom couldn't understand why we kept calling this a slime and she thinks it's a Hershey kiss so she didn't want to know why we weren't calling it the kiss controller I said Gene Simmons would would be suing them real quick <laughs> the last big thing to note is in the back there is a controller port and it has uh, you know this this very proprietary port here and then that connects to a cord that plugs right into your PS2 the funny thing is I'm almost a little too spoiled by our modern consoles because I even asked her one day, I was like, it's so weird if it's just going to plug into the PS2, why wouldn't they just have the cord come right out? And she reminded me that sometimes people like to display things and they don't want a cord coming out the back of it. <laughs> I love getting you things that you never thought you will get, and I love to surprise you for your birthday, so happy birthday, my well, love. thank you very much, and these two go great together. They do, yeah. I guess now we just gotta get the blue one like this. Oh. 
<laughs> hinty, hint, hint, hint. I definitely love having pieces like this because they're just always so much fun. They're great show pieces. They're great conversation starters in the collection. They're a great piece of gaming history. They too. are. And honestly, neither one of these feel uncomfortable, which still it, blows my I mind. I know. It really doesn't seem like it should be comfortable at all, but it is. All right. Well, nerdlings. Let us know what you think about the controller. Uh, I think you guys kind of helped us name Russ Slime in here, so we're open for some names yeah. on this guy here. Of course, leave a like if you happen to like the video. Hit the notification bell. Become a subscriber. You never know what she's going to surprise me with next. She's good. She's really good. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there, nerdlings. And if we slime it... <laughs> we nerd it. <laughs>